The featured shrub that I'm hiding under is red huckleberry, also known as Vaccinium parvifolium. Vacciniums are part of the blueberry or the huckleberry family, so even those blueberries that you buy from the store, they are also vacciniums. So red huckleberry is very common on the coast. It's the most common vaccinium. It's common at low to about middle elevations, edges of moist forests or in clearings or along um, stream banks. It's known for its red berries that are actually quite delicious, although a little bit sour depending on your taste. Prior to the red berries forming, there are these little white to green little urn shaped flowers that come out earlier in the spring. So right now this is mid-July and so the berries are already out. The key features other than the berries, because often there are no berries, first of all is they commonly grow on rotting stumps or logs. So you'll often see them perched on top of an old stump. The other feature is that the leaves are alternate. So they're alternate leaves, they're smoothed edged, they're not toothed, and they're quite small, up to maximum of three centimeters in size. The other key feature are these stems. If you roll the stem between your fingers, it is very, very angular. It's got these strong ridges, and so that's distinct. It's also, as you've noticed so far, is very green, like lime green. And so that's another key feature. So if you roll it between your fingers and it's got this strong edges and it's bright green, then, and you're in low elevations, it's likely red huckleberry. However, huckleberries are tricky and there's a lot of different huckleberries and it can be confusing. And so you really need to pay attention to a, take a key, look at what the instructions say in terms of presence or absence of hairs or toothed edges the color of the stems, because all of these are good clues. So once again, the featured plant is red huckleberry, also known as Vaccinium parvifolium.